At times, we are entrusted with incredible responsibilities beyond anything we might have imagined for ourselves. How might we respond? Luke tells of Zacharias' growing acceptance of his role as the father of John, the one called to be the forerunner of the Savior. Today's key verse reads, Thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. Luke chapter 1, verses 13 and 14. Priests could only marry a woman of pure Jewish lineage, with preference toward descendants of Aaron. Zacharias' wife Elizabeth met both qualifications. Nevertheless, Zacharias and Elizabeth lived in shame because they were unable to have children. In ancient times, to be barren was a tragedy. A childless couple would have no one to support them in their old age. But worse than that, barrenness was often considered a curse or divine judgment for sin. To nullify the idea that their barrenness was a result of God's judgment on Elizabeth, Luke clearly points out that both Zacharias and Elizabeth were upright and blameless in their relationship with God. Given the number of priests serving in each of the 24 divisions, and given that only one priest was required to offer incense at the daily sacrifices, this was a once-in-a-lifetime privilege for Zacharias. Few priests were ever afforded this privilege. Because of the large number of priests, no ordinary priest was allowed to burn incense more than once in a lifetime. Consequently, this was the high point of Zacharias' priestly career. When Zacharias saw the angel of the Lord, he was troubled. Luke uses the Greek word tarasso, which when used in reference to people, expresses uneasiness mixed with fear, even to the point of shaking. Thus Luke adds, and fear fell on him. Fear like this is a normal reaction of those who experience the supernatural presence of God. Throughout the Bible, Fear not is a common statement of reassurance upon witnessing or experiencing the supernatural activity and presence of God. The basis for the angel's words of reassurance is the good news that Zacharias' prayer has been heard. Exactly what Zacharias had been praying for is not clear. It is likely that he was praying for children. Luke is sure to set up that Zacharias and his wife Elizabeth are childless and beyond childbearing age, and makes the angel's words more easily understood. Your prayer to have a baby is answered. Elizabeth will have a baby. Zacharias might also have been praying for the salvation of Israel. Thus, the angel's declaration and instruction that Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John, which was enough to let Zacharias know that his son-to-be would, in some way, be involved in Israel's salvation. The angel prophesies of John's destiny. He will be a great man. Note that he will be great in the sight of the Lord, not necessarily other people. This greatness would be the result of his life mission. John would turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord. Next, the angel paraphrases Malachi chapter 4, verses 5-6, through 6, in describing John's mission, he would be the forerunner of the new exodus as prophesied by Isaiah. Zechariah does not believe the angel's words. Similar to Abraham before him, he asks for confirmation. The angel gives his qualifications as a messenger of God, but he also delivers some bad news. Zechariah would become mute until the birth of John, a sign that confirms the promise but also makes room to address Zacharias' lack of faith. Here's our lesson. No doubt in a daze, Zacharias silently finished his memorable week of service and went home. Elizabeth conceived a child and Zacharias got the proof he had been seeking. It is noteworthy that Zacharias heard from God while he was in the temple worshiping and serving God. He had placed himself in a position to hear from God. When we spend time in God's presence, we open up the door of communication. God speaks to those who listen for His voice. Heavenly Father, fill our hearts with what we truly seek. For who we truly seek is You.